Hey, what's up guys? So, judging from the title of this video, I guess you can tell Saipan has impressed me. Impressive. So what have we got here? We've got the tankiest planes at tier 7 with decent speed at 170-ish knots. This is like implacable levels of speed, so definitely passable, especially compared to Lex. Of course, the trade-off is that you have a tier 5 deck size, so 12 of each plane type, and garbage plane restoration. So automatically, if you're not experienced in carriers, go ahead and research cargo instead. But for those who know what they're doing, oh boy, you're in for a treat. You drop 4 torpedoes per drop, so essentially you're a cargo that can actually follow up its strikes, which is my main gripe with cargo. You fly all the way to the target just for 4 widespread torps with a long arming distance. Over here with Saipan, you fly over with 4 fairly tight torps with a short arming distance, and with enough health to hit a target multiple times. That's right, not just one follow-up strike. If you find a lone battleship that doesn't have good AA, you're easily hitting all 12 potential torpedoes. Like boys, that's like 45k damage with a very high chance of floods. Like, it's, uh, it's kind of insane. Hell, if you somehow manage to avoid torpedo protection on all your drops, that's a potential of what? 12 times 6,000, which is what? 70k damage? What the fuck? <laughs> the bombs are fine, they're just there to stack damage over time. The torps are what you want to focus on, but for what it's worth, your bombers are faster and have less health than your torpedo bombers and drop 4 bombs per drop, but with a whopping 68% fire chance, so like I said, they're just there for getting that damage over time stack going. For me, Saipan is miles clear of cargo, it's not even funny. But I think for the average Joe, cargo would be more attractive simply because of the massive safety net that having near infinite planes is. Anyway, I've been waffling for too long, here's the build, still not much you can do with CV builds yet. It's the same usual suspects in Starscream and Fishy. Iona would be great too to cut that restoration time down. For the free to play lads out there, I'd probably run Tanaka and Fauna. Okay, let's see what Saipan can do. Enjoy. Okay, got a few tier 6s in here, should be a decent game. As always, beeline straight to the enemy spawn point and get everyone spotted. Turpit, Strasbourg, Munchie. I mean, if you want to sail in a straight line, Munchie, I'll, I'll happily oblige. One, two, three, four, 17k, not bad at all. Try and finish him. Just a one torp, he's dead though. Strasbourg next. That should be four. Oh, that's my bad. There's four. Should be able to get another two in here, hope for a flood. Nope, unfortunate. He won't be alive for much longer though. Right, let's help out the other flank. Shit, please don't lock on fighters. Okay, I think I'm good. Uh, I'll just drop center mass, where's he gonna go? Yeah, of course, he's got prop mod. Okay, whatever. I'll take two hits there, I guess. Ooh, that's a perma flood as well, okay, okay. Onto the Gnizen now. And straight back to the carrier. Wow, that was four hits as well. So much easier to get consistent torpedo hits than it is with Karga. Rishi is still flooding and it's 100k damage in five minutes. This could be big actually, you know. Mm, yeah, I'll go for Turpitz actually, I think. He's getting a bit close. Four out of four and a fire. That's a lot of flak. Go again. Nice, another fire. Torps, torps, torps. Oh, I don't like this. Why are you turning away, Leon? I guess I'll have to tank. Great. Right, Turpitz, you need to die right now. Wow, too much lead again. Down he goes. Nice, onto the chappy. Right, no point running, let's turn towards him and try and angle. There's a confed too, nice. Yeah, this angle of attack is rubbish. Just a shatter. And down goes a Tarlin, not good. Megami, any chance of you leaving the back of the map? God damn. Hey, average hipper viewer right there. <laughs> I joke, of course. Okay, but Megami, you've got to help me out here, Jesus Christ. Oh, fire AP Megami, come on. Whatever, I'm dead. I'll just go hit that Lex. Wow, okay. Leon saved my ass. Right, let's go spot this Lex and it's game over. There he is. Ah, 
And there's another 16k. What was that in the end? 176k, not bad. 30 torpedo hits as well. 2.3k base XP, not bad, not bad. That could have been a pretty nice game though, just run out of ships to farm. I can definitely see me hitting 200k for you guys at some point, but yeah, anyway. Saipan feels super strong and might just compete with Parcival for being the best carry of a tier. Two weeks later. Okay, so I said I would get you that 200k game and well. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. As far as I know, it's the current record as well, so isn't that nice? I'll do a post commentary for this one since uh, the live commentary was just me sweating my ass off trying not to choke, so uh, yeah, let's get into it. So we're here on North and straight away looking at the lineup, I was thinking this could be a good game. Five battleships, including a nice and juicy Nelson, as well as a Shukaku, which is essentially a free 50k damage for me. So I start off with the dive bombers just because I'd rather save the torpedo bombers for when the enemy ships are more spread out. As always, get everyone spotted and we find a lone Bismarck. He turns into my first drop, but we still manage to get a fire. Swing around for the second drop, and again, not a great angle of attack, but we still get that perma fire. Now onto the torpedo bombers, I'm happy to let that Bismarck cook for the time being. There's a Kagero, and uh oh, I see the Nelson, and I see red. For a second here, I thought it was AFK, but no. Go in for the first strike, 4 out of 4. Second strike, another 4 and a flood. But your damage cons. Third strike, can I get that perma flood? No. But as quickly as that, that Nelson is completely out of the game. I probably hit him a bit too hard so I can make the most out of his super heals, but oh well. That Bismarck has gone all the way to the back of the map, so I'm going to go for this Caracciolo instead. Pretty standard carry attack here. Line up to hit the Caracciolo, no fire sadly, and then I can strike the Nagato. First strike was poor, but again, my planes have so much health that I can easily get another strike off. No fire again though. Back to the torpedoes and I definitely need to get closer to the action. Have another go at this uh, Caracciolo. We hit three on the first strike, only two on the second. And then the third drop I just dump as soon as possible before my plane goes down. And the torpedoes end up beaming straight into the Caracciolo's stern and sets a perma flood. <laughs> yeah boy. So, so scrawny. Bismarck has put his big boy pants on and has left the back of the map so I need to take him out before he gets too close. First strike we get 3 hits, second another 3 hits and we finish him with the remaining plane. This carrier is just outrageous. Being able to dump this many torpedoes from all different angles with the same squadron is just absurd. Anyway, we're back with the dive bombers and I'm looking to get this Asashio. Looking back, I kind of regret it since it has no effect on the outcome of the match, but anyway. We miss our first drop and I just nick him on the second drop. If I went for this Amagi instead this could have been a scary good game, but I digress. Back with the torpedo bombers and we've got a full health of Margie to feast on. Swoop in, nice high angle of attack and we get 3 hits. Onto the Nagato, not sure what he's doing here so I just dump it middle and get another squadron in the air. We get a good 3 hits in though. Again I rotate back to the dive bombers. I'm looking to finish that Nagato but I clock those torpedoes coming from my friendly destroyer. So I make the call to go for the Amagi instead. First drop we get a whopping 13.6k damage and a fire which is the max you can get with Saipan pretty much. Swing it around, pray for a permafire, and yes, we secure the permafire. Clock's ticking now, time to get the Shukaku. He should be behind the island still, but no, he's pushed up, which makes my life easier. I don't want to blow an entire squadron here, so I quickly pre-drop a couple of planes. First drop in and straight back to the carrier for dive bombers. Three hit, no, four hits, and that's the Confed medal. Nice lineup, and again, 13.6k damage. Swing around and not the best angle of attack, but we still get another 6k in. Torpedoes to finish him off and wow, I send the rest of the squadron back, what a dumbass. Down goes for Shikaku, but yeah, I might have been able to get another couple of torpedoes onto that Amagi if I didn't send that squad home. Oh well, so that's the game, 227k damage and the Saipan damage record, for now. Definitely looking forward to getting the Saipan back to see how far I can push it, but yeah, Saipan might just be the best carrier in the game. I realised I didn't really showcase Saipan's destroyer killing abilities but think Lexington but with an extra torp and less bombs. Torpedoes are a lot less RNG reliant so I guess it's better than Lex in that regard. Let me know what you think of Saipan in the comments below and with all that said and done, thanks for watching and take care folks.